New details on the Providence teacher charged with molesting students. So Mike Montecalvo and I'm Shannon Heggie. According to a police affidavit, two middle school students came forward saying Essex Hopkins middle school teacher Joseph Tenno touched them inappropriately. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts is live now with new reaction tonight. Amanda. Well, Mike Shannon, we've just learned that Joseph Tenno only started teaching at that middle school in September. Now he's on administrative leave after two students reported being molested by him. This is the man Providence police say molested two middle schoolers while working as a teacher in their school. Now Joseph Tenno is facing two second degree child molestation charges. According to court records, the first student, a sixth grade girl, came forward in December reporting that Tenno inappropriately touched her, stroked her hair, and pushed his body up against hers. When asking friends why he'd do that, the girl said they responded with, quote, he's done that to a lot of girls. The 51 year old was placed on leave following those allegations, but nearly a month later, another student came forward. This time, an eighth grade girl reported that back in November, Tenno tried to hug her and touch her inappropriately during a sporting event and in a classroom pushed up against her and suggested he was sexually aroused. President of the Providence School Board, Erlen Rogel, responded to the allegations, calling them disgusting and deranged, saying, quote, families place the utmost trust in the adults charged with the well-being of their children while out of sight. A breach of that trust is not only a violation against these families, but also of our entire community. Justice needs to be swift. According to the Rhode Island Department of Education website, Tenno only started working at the school in September teaching math. He got an emergency certification for for this school year, something Ride has been issuing in light of the teacher shortage. A spokesperson for Providence Public Schools said in a statement, quote, we take these allegations and the safety of our students extremely serious and took swift action to ensure the person in question had no further contact with students. Now, we did try to reach Tenno for comment, but a phone number listed for him in court documents was out of service and an address listed for him in court documents ended up just being a warehouse in Warwick. I'm Amanda Pitts, 12 News.